welcome to Crafty Witty. In this video, I'm going to show you a technique using our dye ink pads and how to make a card out of it. Don't forget that the materials are listed down in the description below along with the links on where you can get them. Let's get started! The first step always is to make the base of our card, but this time I'm going to be taking black cardstock and I'm going to cut a A2 size side fold card. So I'm going to line my black cardstock to five and a half inches in the cutting board using the long side, the 11 inch side of my cardstock and I'm going to cut. You can put this other piece away and, we, and we're going to use this cardstock to make our base. So first, we're going to score a line in four and a quarter inches because it's halfway through our cardstock. So I'm going to score a line on my scoreboard like this. Once you score your line, you can take your cardstock and you can fold it. crease using my bone folder and now we have our eight two size side fold cardstock for our base we can put our base card away for now because we're going to use our white cardstock to cut a mat which is what we're going to do the dye ink technique on so I'm going to line this white cardstock on my cutting board to four inches because I'm decreasing a quarter inch to fit on the base cardstock, to make it fit on the base cardstock. So I'm going to cut. I can put this away to the side. I'm going to take the long side and I'm going to line it up to five and a quarter inches because I'm decreasing a quarter inch. Put this to the side. And once you've cut your mat, this, it should look something like this when you put it on top of your base cardstock. There should be a gap around the borders. Before we start our dye ink technique on our mat cardstock, I'm going to take this sun, sunflower stamp that I have and I'm going to stamp it around this area on my mat. I'm going to take my black ink and I'm going to stamp. Once I'm done stamping my sunflower image on my white mat cardstock, I'm going to take another white piece of scrap paper and I'm going to stamp this again and cut it out in order to do our dye ink technique. to the sunflower on our mat cardstock and I'm going to stick it. After we've done that, I'm going to take a long piece of masking tape. Or you can lift it just a little bit above 
So we can do our technique. Like that. I'm going to take another long piece. And I'm going to stick it at the bottom. Our dye ink method. You need two dye ink pads, so it has to be different colors. So I'm taking yellow and green, and I'm taking two soft brushes for each color. First, I'm going to start off with yellow. So I'm going to take this ink pad, and I'm going to fill my brush with the yellow ink. After I did that, I'm going to go in circular motion and I'm going to start applying the ink on the cardstock. Like this. I'm not pressing too hard, but hard enough to apply the ink. I'm going only halfway because we need some room for the ink, for the green ink. Going in circular motion helps blend colors together. Once I'm done with my yellow, I'm going to close the ink pad and I'm going to start with the green. So I'm going to apply ink on my brush. I'm going to start putting it on the cardstock in circular motion. There. Once you're done applying the ink, you can take off the masking tape one by one slowly. After you took off these masking tape, then you can take off the other sunflower that we stuck. That's our dye ink method, everyone. It's very simple, but very pretty. Finish off the mat. It's time to add the sentiment. So here I have a stamp that says, thinking of you. So I'm going to stick this onto my stamp block. And I'm going to stamp it over here on top of our strip of dye ink. So I'm going to take my black ink pad and I'm going to stamp it. Done decorating our matte cardstock using the dye ink method everybody. Now all we have left to do is stick this mat on top of our base cardstock. Done making our card using the dye ink method everybody. As you can see, I added some glitter to the sunflower to make it stand out a bit, which is a totally optional step to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Crafty Video. See you next time!